so today we've gotten a huge update on the citron emulator because it's been a long time since they updated it and this one is packed with optimizations fixes and new features including the introduction of the fsr2 so in this video i'm going to guide you guys on how to download it do a quick installation and then we will go over the change logs in this update so without much ado let's get started But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest emulation updates and tutorials. Now, if you don't already know, Citron is a fork of the user emulator. It's been worked on and polished to make Switch games running smoother, especially on low-end mobile devices and PC. So basically, it's used with extra fixes and tweaks. And today I get my hands on the latest version of the emulator and I'm going to guide you guys on how to get this emulator, how to download and install it and also go over the change logs in this emulator. Alright, so let's get into how you can grab these updates and remember, I'll leave the download links under this video description so you can check it out directly. First of all, to get the emulator, head over to the official GitLab page of the emulator. So um, when you open the emulator, when you open the link, it should lead you to this session or this page session. Now here, scroll down, scroll down until you see the windows. So under the packages, we have the windows, which is this one. So um, for Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8, blah, blah, blah. You, you all all you have to do is just download this one so you just press on it and then you start downloading before that i already have the downloaded um the downloaded file so there won't be any need for me to download it again better store you can go on and read about the change logs but we will cover that in this video so um after getting the files you should see something like citron which is this one and um to to this 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 file is, is in the zip it's in the zip format so you need um, a program to extract it so you can use program like 7zip or winrar so make sure you install that program so using winrar you have to right click on the emulator that you downloaded the zip file then using winrar you select the third one which says extract to citron dash windows dash blah blah so you just have to select this one and then you should start extracting now please note before you can play any switch games on your mobile phone or pc there are some two things that you are going to need first you need the firmware and the product keys and without these two files you can't play any switch games right on your device and with these two files i can show you guys on where to get them or how to download it because it goes against the law on youtube so um after getting these two files first of all we are going to extract these two files as well so we will extract the firmware first we do the same thing as we did with the emulator we extract and then you come again you do the same thing with the product keys you right click you extract the product keys now open the window i mean open the emulator launch the emulator here it should give you a warning saying en encryption keys are missing the encryption keys means the product keys just press on ok press on yes come to the two sessions select install decryption keys locate the folder that contains your extracted product keys select it press ok do the same thing with the firmware select the firmware folder after that select select this folder select on this one now um we are done with the installation so for our games to appear at this session it says double click to add a new folder to the game list so what we are going to do is we are going to double click it and then select the folder that contains your switch game files
now you come here you right click you tick in scan subfolders and then you are ready to go okay so all my games are now showing so um, to set up with the, the controller session just come to the emulation side select configure go to the input session make sure your controller is connected to your pc select on make sure this one is on pro controller input device select it and then you select your connected controller so i have xbox one controller so i'll go with that one after that just press on apply and then press on ok So this is how we download and install the latest version of the Citron emulator. Now let's go and check the change logs. I mean, let's break down the change logs in this version. So first of all, the whole Vulkan rendering pipeline got reworked. That means better graphics handling and smoother performance in games. They also improve memory management and fixes a bunch of those random crashes we used to see in certain titles. They've added better GPU handling, fixed missing system functions, and even improved multiplayer stability. So um, if you've been struggling with games freezing or disconnecting online, they should feel way more stable now. There is also a brand new timeout system for Vulkan Turbo Mode, which basically keeps your games from randomly breaking when you push performance. Now a quick warning, they did add FSR2 upscaling but it's still experimental so yeah you might see a glitches, crashes or some games looking weird. Don't be surprised if not everything is perfect yet. And since this is a complete rewrite you can expect some bugs here and there, maybe compatibility issues, maybe performance drop in certain games. But overall, this update is laying the foundation for way smoother and more stable switch emulations on mobile and PC going forward. So um, that is it for the Citroen emulator version 0.7 update, tons of improvements, smoother gameplay and an easy setup. So if this video helps you, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more emulator updates and tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next in the next one. See you next time.